All right, guys, welcome to section two. We have at this point completed the introduction section and either you have gone over the exercise with me or you have decided that you are at the stage where you pretty much easily took in all that introduction stuff. None of it's really complex at all. It's very, very beginner stuff. We wanted to just get that out of the way before we could move on with the better, more interesting video editing stuff about Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, what we're going to be looking at here is the basic video editing section. And in this basic video editing section, I'm going to change gears for a minute and switch up the examples. So right now I've been working through an example with organizing all our clips for this promo video that I was working on the other week and exploring the process of how I would organize all of that. Now it occurs to me that I want to switch up the example. I'm, I'm going to continue down this road. Don't worry. Um, as soon as I get out this next example of basic video editing, but I think it's just uh, the right time to change change gears for a second. So what we're going to be looking at is a totally different type of video, and that is going to be a talking head video. So what I'm going to do in a second is import a talking head example clip of me just talking in front of the camera, and we're going to explore the process, the basic video editing process, of how we would go about adding a nice backing track to that, exploring a nice introduction to that, and also adding B-roll footage over the key things that I was saying in this talking head clip. So we're going to be working through that, and then we're going to come back to this example, and we're going to work through how we would edit together this promo video to a nice backing track, and how we would, of course, go about syncing each clip to the beat, and placing and trimming all those clips down to fit into the designated uh, section that we create. So, boom. Without further ado, we are going to jump into the first example. And I'm going to bring over my files from my other screen, go to example, and I have prepared this talking head clip, which we could simply import by dragging down here and letting go. And for some reason that did not import. Let me just redrag that in. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I guess, I guess something went wrong there, but here right here is of course the sequence that we created pr uh, previous to this. What we could do is exit off of that sequence, that example sequence that we created and just create a new specialized sequence to these settings of whatever of, of whatever settings were, were, were on this clip that I just recorded. And we could drag that over here as you see the plus comes up or down here just to create a brand new sequence. And then you could see it is just a video of me sitting down and then I proceed to talk to the camera. So what I want to do is go about preparing this so it's a more polished, nicer video than obviously it starts off and I just sit down. And I believe I mess up a little bit here. And overall, we want to just explore polishing this down. So first off, what I would go about is trimming it to the correct size that I want it and the correct section that I that I actually talk without messing up in. So to my knowledge, before when I recorded this example clip, I think that I messed up a couple times. So what we could do is, is just go ahead and give this a play from about here and listen to, to where I maybe messed up and kind of officially started again. And then we would go about cutting the clip to actually be starting where we want it to start. So let's go ahead and just give this a play and listen to what I'm saying. Hey, how's it going, guys? Really hope you're enjoying the course. This is a nice little example, and I am Jack. Hey, how's it going, guys? Really hope you're enjoying the course up until this point so far. My name is Jack. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer and a YouTuber who's... Hey, how's it going, guys? Really hope you're <laughs> So, bear with me here. You see, I, I've clearly messed up my introduction here a few, a, a few times, right? So we would go ahead and drag this right here, which is, of course, the, the, the dial. And we, and we would drag that over to where I actually begin the correct take. And to actually trim this down, we could go about this two ways. I'm actually going to save the second way for the next part of this. So literally, the lecture right after this one, I'm going to go very in-depth about keyboard shortcuts. And that is actually what I'm going to leave out right now to just create that next, next section a little bit juicier. So right now, if we were to go about trimming this clip before I've shown you any keyboard uh, shortcuts. The basic way to do this would be to go over here all the way here until you see your, your, your cursor changes from the regular traditional cursor until you go all the way to the end and it changes to this one. Now what that means is you can click and hold and actually drag that all the way over here and that will cut that clip. Then we could drag this over here and if we give this a play, this is probably going to start exactly where we wanted it. Let's give it a play and listen. 
until this point. Again, just a refresher and example here. My name's Jack. I'm so that looks like that is where I actually started my proper take. And it looks like I go through and proceed to talk um, consistently about whatever my example was. <laughs> it's just a funny little example for you guys, just uh, just to get you in the mood. And um, overall, this is pretty much a good clip to, to kind of mess around on because I proceed to kind of give my same little spiel that I gave at the beginning of this course where I say I'm a freelance video editor, videographer, and YouTuber. And you guys have already seen what that looks like when I post production uh, in the post production process when I edit on for example my uh, a screenshot of my YouTube channel and some 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 video clips based on what I'm saying so I proceed to say that same line again in here which I've er you've already seen a first hand example of that and now I'm just going to work through actually what the post production process looked like for me creating that on screen example that you originally saw in the first section of this particular course so what I want to do is is actually just go ahead and give this a play and wait until the point or, or stop it at the point where I start talking about the stuff where we would kind of want to start seeing visual representation of what I'm saying, aka B-roll. So let's give that a play. Hey, how's it going guys? Really hope you enjoyed the course up until this point. Again, just a refresher and example here. My name's Jack. I'm a freelance video editor and... So there, when I start saying, my name's Jack, I'm a freelance video editor, so it's right about here. You can just drag this little scrubby guy at all times, by the way, guys, by simply holding and dragging and just working your way along the timeline like this. Obviously, if you drag it super fast, you can see me going crazy up there. And if you drag it a little bit slow, 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 it is kind of just naturally edging on a little bit. Now, hold on. Let's, let's find where I said that again quickly. Again, just a refresher and example here. My name's Jack. So it's right about here. This is where I would start to say it. So what we actually want to go ahead and do for that is bring in some sort of proof and some sort of visual representation of what I'm saying. So for example, where I say I'm a video editor, what we actually could do for that one right here is go ahead and just import a clip of a video editor or overall import a, a, a screenshot or a clip of a video editor editor. And the way I would go about actually getting some sort of visual representation to what I'm saying is simply, um, if I can, go through previous footage that I have of video editors, which luckily for me, I produce a lot of videos, so I do have a footage folder of screen captures of previous video edits. Alternatively, I could maybe go to Google and find some sort of um, website, uh, or, or not website, find some sort of image that would Co uh, correspond with what I was talking about as some sort of proof on screen of what I'm talking about. But for me, I can simply open up uh, another one of my folders, go here, go to my record drive, and actually go to footage, which is a big folder, if I go ahead and zoom out, of just a bunch of different footage. So what I could actually do is go ahead and import one of these guys, one of these shorter clips, I think that's a 40 second one, go ahead and drag that over here, bring that in, and since I brought that in, I can go ahead and drag that now into my timeline. And you see how it now does this where it hasn't actually been thrown in there yet, but I've, I've obviously had to bring it up to this next, uh, this next layer. And that will jump the audio to the layer below that audio layer below as well. But of course, if we were to put it there and import it, it would delete that whole section that it's covering. So you need to keep each individual layer on their own section. So so obviously they do not d destroy the other layer below. Now, where I'm, I'm 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 talking, I'm talking. So what I would do here is simply go through and I would look for a nice point. So it looks like I'm adjusting some stuff here so I could actually go ahead and do the same thing by trimming and pull that all the way over here and that would be trimmed right there. So that's what I want to start it on. And I could actually go ahead and bring that all the way over here, where I would start talking. So it's, it's, it's there where I would actually want to bring this in, and I could bring this all the way over here, and I could actually simply go ahead and put that there. So now if I give that a play from over here, it is going to start coming up with a tiny bit of visual representation of what I'm saying, and then we can mark out the other points where we need to put visual representation as well. So if we give this a play. Again, just a refresher and example here. My name's Jack. I'm a freelance video editor and videographer as so I say video editor we can find where I say videographer 
it looks like here is where I'm doing that. So what we could actually do is go ahead and just pull that out, bring that all the way over here. And that is now the section of video editor that we're talking about. And now what I want to do is again, just bring over some more proof by opening up here and just go ahead and grab myself a music video that I just finished editing, which is here. Go ahead and import that. And this is going to be the on, uh, the on screen proof of me being a videographer. And again, likewise, what we do is just scroll through and find a clip that we like. So, um, I believe there is, uh, the directed by Jack Cole bit. So obviously that's my name. So that says, of course, directed by me. That's some pretty nice social proof on screen right there. And to actually take this particular section where, where it looks like it starts, because we want to get just after that TQ9 logo comes and we want it to be, um, uh, my directed by Jack Cole text. So to, to skip individual frames, we would simply click the step forward one frame button. And it looks like that's all it took. It was one frame in front, then go over here until it pops up, go ahead and trim that down there. And we want to go ahead and scrub through until it goes away, skip back a couple frames until it's back here. And then likewise drag this scrubby bar out here to adjust how much is visible on screen. And then we would simply drag that back down. And there we go. That is the next bit of just on screen visual representation to coincide with what I'm saying. So we've give that a play. Now that is going to be two bits of on screen B roll, AKA things just to visually represent what I'm talking about. So let's give that a play from just right here. Oh, my bad. I forgot that there's audio attached to these. Um, so of course you could go ahead and just mute that layer. Um, that started playing right there. I'll give that another play. My bad guys. So that's looking really nice right there. Now we just need that final bit of visual representation where I say that I'm also a YouTuber and that I have 70,000 subscribers. So what we would want to do here is go and actually get a, a, well, for me personally, I would get a screenshot of that because that is visual representation to what I'm saying. So I'll be back in one second when I grab a screenshot of my YouTube channel. Okay. And here we go. We can just go ahead and drag that one over that saved the project while we were dragging as well. And just go ahead and let that go inside of our project. And if we go ahead and import that by dragging it on, that will now be a screenshot. Now, the only thing about this right here is that it clearly is not covering the whole screen. I, I, you know, I, I didn't get the exact screenshot dimensions as this project is. So if anything is ever not fitting the screen, you can simply right click whatever it is and go ahead and set to frame size. And just like that, that jumps it to the set to frame size. Oh, it looks like it's actually missing a little bit under here. So we could actually just quickly go over to effect control and you see the scale. We could just bump that up to 120 to make sure that's actually on a screen. Um, of course, we're going to be getting to all of this later on in the video editing section here, guys. This is uh, right now under clip dimensions. I just needed to quickly do that. We have not gotten to that. Don't worry. All of this is coming. This is going to be such an extensive course and it pretty good gets me very excited that we are still at the very beginning of this course. So if we go ahead and give that a play now, just from here to see where we should end this clip, we have, it looks like added successful re visual representation to what we're talking about, AKA B roll. So let's give that a play quick, see where we want to end it. Subscribers producing weekly content. And it looks like we can end it right here by simply dragging that over. And if we actually go ahead and give this a play from back here at the beginning, we have successfully added B roll to our talking head video. Let's give this a play. Hey, how's it going guys? Really hope you enjoy the course up until this point. Again, just a refresher and example here. My name's Jack. I'm a freelance video editor and videographer as well as a YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production. And that guys in a nutshell is a extreme general example or an extremely basic general example of how we would go about just spicing up the original clip itself. Now there's so much more extensive stuff we're going to get to, uh, including how to make these come on nicer via uh, basic 
default transitions, or even your own custom transitions. Also, later on in this editing section, we will be getting to all of the clip dimensions and how to tweak the scale, the position, and the rotation, all this other stuff. So right now, this is um this is going to be the basic sequence that we are going to be building on. So in fact, I want to go over here to our sequence and name this sequence Talking Head. So that is going to be a sequence we are going to be improving as we go along. But that is nearly done right there. All we want to do quickly, guys, is import an audio track, throw that underneath it at a nice, decent volume, and that is going to be us concluded on this quick example. So go ahead and import yourself an audio track. I'm going to reopen up my folder, and I'm actually going to go ahead and import a nice royalty-free one that I know about called the Otis McDonald, and this is just a nice little hip-hop kind of backing track. Once we've imported that, again, just go ahead and drag that into the timeline, and we're going to go ahead and drag that down here onto, of course, a, 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 a section that's not muted like that one. And what we want to do is actually go ahead and drop the volume a little bit. So the way we'd actually go about doing that right off the bat, and I'm going to be getting so much more extensive into this stuff, guys, so do not worry if you're not picking all these little miniature things I'm mentioning quickly up. We're going to be getting so much more extensive into all of this stuff. But just to quickly drop the backing track audio, we would just simply click on it and go to Effect Control and... Uh, of course, nothing pops up in effect control if we have not selected a clip because it is the effect controls that that uh, matter to an individual clip. For example, if we select that, boom, effect controls pop up, uh, pop up. We click off, nothing. Audio and the effect controls pop up, but just the stuff that matters to it. So for this, quickly what we want to do is go ahead and just click this so the effect controls pop up. Go ahead and turn off the... Uh, toggle animations on the keyframes and we're just going to drop the dbs down to about minus 15 or actually we could do about minus 20 and what that does is just makes it 20 decibels lower than the default audio and 20 decibels by the way i'll i'll give a definite explanation of decibels and everything going forward but i'm just trying to quickly show you this so we can move forward and learn those more advanced, more in-depth stuff. It's going to help you, believe me, you'll be understanding that more advanced stuff so much better once we've explored a bunch of this basic stuff and you've really gotten your first kind of foot in the water, so to speak. So now if we go ahead and just make this bigger, and if we go all the way to the end here and drag this all the way in, we can add that, uh, we can make that, line that up so that is in line with these guys. And then we could give that a play from the beginning and see what this sequence, this very basic sequence, is looking like before we move on to our example number two. Hey, how's it going, guys? Really hope you're enjoying the course up until this point. Again, just a refresher and example here. My name is Jack. I'm a freelance video editor and videographer as well as a YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production. That's an example. Go ahead and add a nice little backing track down below. <laughs> so that's kind of just I started rambling at the end of that example I was really just trying to get a random clip to work you guys through but that is looking okay obviously the only the only thing I would say about that is we didn't put the decibels low enough so the the uh, the backing track sounded pretty loud there but in terms of a talking head example and in terms of example number one for the basic video editing example I'd say that is a good walkthrough and uh, uh, definitely a good summary of a talking head video and the process you would go about creating that and like I said we're going to be working on making this basic sequence a much more advanced one as we go and we'll also be working through this next example so without further ado that concludes basic video editing example number one and we're going to be moving swiftly onwards <laughs> 